Several C-Class models are built on the fifth-generation Volkswagen Golf platform, including the premium Audi A3, as well as the exquisite seat Altia. However, the Czech carrier of the German base, Skoda Octavia, is of greater interest in the automotive market, distinguished by its popularity, adaptability to everyday use and, most importantly, reasonable price. It is not for nothing that they say that those who bought a Skoda for themselves cleverly deceived everyone by getting the same Audi, only cheaper. Maybe there is some truth in this, but Czech cars carry other values. For example, the heroine of our review is loved for her family features. For many, this car has become almost the only candidate from the golf class, applying for the position of a light, super capacious, practical carrier of passengers and cargo. This is not surprising, because due to its size, the Octavia, presented in liftback and station wagon bodies, managed to move some participants in the D segment. With the release of the third generation, the second generation of the model, produced since 2004 and restyled in 2009, completely migrated to the second-hand market. That is, in the place where the real strength tests take place. Different climatic and road conditions, different driving styles of owners and frequency of operation. It's time to take stock. Let's say right away that the Czechs once again did not have to blush for their creation. Even after several years of operation, Octavia saves owners money. But there are no perfect cars, even champions have weaknesses. The units for the Czech model were the same as those of the steadily developing German concern. A real outsider in all the variety of engines looks like a 75 horsepower 1.4 engine. But an outsider only in terms of traction characteristics, since it does not cause much trouble in operation. For example, more modern, supercharged installations were repaired much more often. The 1.8 TSI turned out to be the most annoying, preferring to eat not only gasoline, but also oil. How insulting it was for some owners to give a completely new car to replace a worn-out piston group. However, the most common disease is oil fogging of the turbine pipe. Not such a terrible phenomenon as a capital, but there is little pleasure from repairing such parts. The 2-liter FSI looks like a good boy in this regard, as it was noted only by premature wear of the timing belt. It is better to install a new consumable every 60,000 kilometers, so as not to get into something more expensive. Unit 1.6 with 102 liters. With. Turned out to be the most popular. Fortunately for Octavia fans, he is the leader in reliability. Of the systematic malfunctions, only glitches of the throttle valve were noted here. If you do not have high requirements for dynamics, then when choosing a used car, we recommend that you consider this particular modification, or get a version with a 1.9-liter diesel engine. The 2-liter TDI had a case of replacing the cylinder head. For owners of belt engines, servicemen have one useful tip, install a new pump during every second replacement of the timing drive. We have written more than once about the imperfection of existing robotic gearboxes, about DSG including. Skoda Octavia is no different from everyone else. Here, too, the finickiness of the transmission is expressed in the need for adaptations, early clutch replacements and mechatronics sensitivity. You can delay trouble by careful driving, excluding parking, on the brake, using manual mode. In the event of a breakdown, dealers put in an upgraded clutch that can last longer. However, these terms will be far from the indicators of the viability of the clutches of a conventional mechanical transmission. At the same time, the owners of the manual transmission, albeit occasionally, but still come to the service to replace the shaft bearings, but the usual machine has no systematic diseases at all. In the suspension, the bushings and rear stabilizer struts are the first to die, 70 to 80,000 km the same parts, but in the front, as a rule, last longer, 110 to 130,000. However, for such a run, the replacement of silent blocks of the front levers is usually broom. Except for cases of early bearing failure, up to 100,000 kilometers, in general terms, the rear undercarriage is quite hardy, but, unlike its predecessor, where a beam was used in the stern suspension design, the second generation Octavia requires periodic adjustment of camber angles. The multi-link system gave the liftback not only a balance of comfort and controllability, but also additional costs for many years of using the car. You yourself understand what repairs can turn out to a prudent summer resident and family man, when the elastic elements of the chassis become obsolete. The entire steering chain from the steering wheel and the electric power steering to the very tips showed itself very worthy in operation. 
the latter sometimes take care of 150 to 200,000 kilometers, beating many competitors. Salon Octavia, a role model. The interior has earned the respect of motorists not only for its size and practicality, but also for its decent quality. Not that breakdowns, even squeaks are rare here. If some sounds did appear, then their source, as a rule, is somewhere in the back. The most terrible case of failure is attributed to the seat belt indicators. The outer part of the body also claims a metal. In particular, this applies to the metal itself and the paintwork. True, a couple of little things undermine the chances for the highest award, a detachable tailgate molding and seals that rub the paint. Fortunately, the last drawback did not appear on restyled cars. Electronics cope with salty Russian roads quite well. True, some owners complained about the failure of daytime running lights and the rear wiper due to oxidized contacts. The next incident is much less common, but attracts more attention. And it does not refer to reagents, but to real mysticism. Otherwise, it is difficult to explain what kind of entity lowers the windows of the doors right on the move. Although most likely the basis of the miracles is either a glitch of electronics or the carelessness of the owner or passengers. For the second generation Skoda Octavia, the question is, is it worth it? Not unambiguous. This car is practical, nice, comfortable, well-equipped and, as we found out, quite reliable. It seems to be worth it, but how much? Having stumbled upon the price, you begin to remind him of all the sins. If this car is really needed, then candidates with a robot, problematic engines and high mileage should immediately be deleted from the list. It is not superfluous to check the chosen one for accidents and a criminal past. Outcome. Along the way, it will be necessary to solve many questions and think over different options. After all, this is one of those cars that prudent family people take, who choose wisely wanting to know exactly what they give such money for. The choice of the majority, as a rule, falls on the version with a 1.6 engine and a manual transmission. 